What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Unique Shalaz, and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title, I'm doing a mukbang. Mukbang. To catch up with y'all, let y'all know what's been going on, where have I been, how the baby been. I know y'all want to know. So, I'm just waiting on my food to get out of the oven, and then I'm going to be right back. What y'all? To do my mukbang. Okay, y'all, I'm back and I got my food. I got some pizza rolls and some fries. Um, so yeah, let's talk about where I've been and what's been happening. Get on the floor with that. So, I don't, um, hold on. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know or not or the people who do follow me or whatever, it don't even matter, but around December last year, 2020, I lost my papa. And he was more than like a papa to me, more like a father figure because he spoiled me and my baby. He loved my baby, for sure. He loved it. That's all he talked about when he came in for work. Where the baby? Where Brooklyn? And so, yeah. So, yeah, that was real depressing for me after that. And then a lot of stuff started happening after that. And I feel like I went down. I'm just say I I just felt I just fell down. Period. So after that, my phone broke. I had an iPhone and it broke. And we was a little short on money right then and there at the time where I lost my papa. And I had to wait and find me a job and give me a phone. And that was hard because I was going through depression at the same time, trying to grieve up my papa and then stuff like this keep happening and then it make it no better. So I got depressed and I lost all my weight. I went all the way down to 113. Never again. So that's really now recently why I'm taking a Peterman again. And um He fucking that shit up. <laughs> so after that we was down. We were staying with my sister and I, not my sister and I, we were staying with my sister and for like, we were staying with my sister for like a month, three months straight. We weren't even at the house, so, because we couldn't, we couldn't really sleep in the house knowing that, you know, he lived there and he gone. It never, it didn't feel like, it didn't feel like the family was complete anymore, but yeah. Here it is, 2021. 20, I can't say I'm completely over it because every time I think about it, it puts me in a different type of mood. But I can say I'm moving forward from it, but he'll never be forgotten. He did a lot for me. He taught me a lot. And, I, and that was just one person that I knew that just truly loved my baby. And that was crazy. Oh, it was beautiful. And it was beautiful and yeah so i was really hurt by the situation and staying there didn't make it no better better even going back so i came over here well i was just coming to my boyfriend house back and forth but now i've been over here since then so you could say i stay over here but i'll be moving out soon into my own place so with that being said i'm gonna need y'all to keep messing with me like y'all mess with me like my videos share get other people to watch my videos and stuff like that because if you mess with me, you mess with me. And so, yeah, there's a lot more. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm hungry. And it got to the point where, like, I didn't want to do nothing anymore. Like, I just laid in the bed, put myself in a more depression. And, um, I don't know. I didn't want to be around nobody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. When I was around my family, I never really cried around them about the situation. But when I wasn't with them, I cried and I felt so alone. Like I didn't have nobody. 
whole time I did, but that's just how it feel, feel when you depressed. Like you don't want to be bothered at all, or you don't you want to tell somebody, but like you don't because you just don't feel like speaking on the situation. So yeah, I, I got so skinny. If I could find, if I could find some pictures of how skinny I was. I'm going to have to show y'all them pictures because I had lost so much weight. Y'all would have thought I was sick. But God is good. And whatever you do, always talk to God. If you feel like you can't talk to nobody else, talk to God. So, that's what I did. And I came out of it. I found me a job. I was working in Fiesta for, I'm going to say, for but like, um, Mommy. Yeah, I had got a job at Fiesta. Females do be hating in real life though. You would think they ain't, but in real life they is. So the whole time she hating on me instead of saying something about my hair. So much me, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. And then I had some some black feelers. You know how you have always had them black feelers, they got the little red in and the little white. That's the ones I was wearing to show them you can't wear them. My Jews, other girls in there that's wearing red literally all around their shoes, like at the bottom and everything. Nobody ever said nothing to them. So, yeah, I had got a job and I was just um, I said I was going to invest and get back on Forex and do what I need to do for my YouTube, but stuff just started, more stuff just started happening. I had to take care of that stuff. I have a phone, but this is not the phone, like. I wanted to get so I'm going to get me a new phone a better phone because I still haven't replaced my big phone I had that broke a couple days after my pop off you know and I was like maybe I didn't need a phone maybe that was something I didn't need to see everything has happened for a reason so yeah that's what happened I had lost my papa during the time my hair really stopped doing YouTube. I lost my papa and things went downhill. But I'm ready to get back on track and let life be what it has to be because these things has to happen. But I never just, I never had somebody so close to me just, you know, pass. So it was a different thing for me. It was a different thing for me. So it was something new for me, actually. And then after that, it really taught me stuff. Because now, I was the type of person back then to, like, stick to the same stuff, do the same stuff, eat the same stuff. But now, I've been willing to try new things. I've been eating new things. And I've been liking some new stuff. I got new stuff I like to eat and everything. And I will share that with y'all as well, the new things I like to. And I like to cook. I don't start cooking. And I really, like, I really enjoy cooking and baking, you know. Like cooking and baking after I'm done cooking, I'll bake some because you know you gotta have some sweet after you eat, you just got to. I don't know about y'all, but I just got to. And me and my daughter, we like sweets, so yeah, don't mind my name. It broke out when I was um scratching my head. But yeah, that's what happened. And so, I don't know. But I'm ready to start this new chapter in my life. I'm ready for new beginnings, new everything, new apartment, new car. I'm ready for all that this year. So make sure y'all stay tuned. All my videos, watch all my videos, watch all the ads, do what y'all can do for me. Other than that, I've been good. Working hard to cut my mind off things. And I'm good now. All it takes is 
for you to talk to God. And you're looking good. Bird. You gonna build your basketball court, babe? Yeah, we can get them runs in at the crib. Right. I want to even be here to see how much his granddaughter done grew up. He always said, ooh, I can't wait for you to call. He was so happy when she first started um, being able to eat regular food because that's all he did was feed her and swallow. He would take her to Target every time he got paid to her clothes and toys. He loved her so much. And I think another reason why I went down, I, I went. I got so depressed because my papa was like the breadwinner in the family. Like he always went to go get it. I ain't saying that my mama never been high money because she did, but I'm saying he like he like he likes to work and go get money and stuff like that. And he would just come and spoil us. And that was something I had to adjust to when he passed and when he left. Because after that, I wasn't getting as much as I used to get. I couldn't get my nails done all the time. I couldn't get my hair done any time I wanted to. I had to get a job and hard doing it for myself. Uh-uh. I was just, I'm just small, so... I have to, you know, unbreak myself from there and start doing stuff for myself and learn that I can't get everything like that no more unless I work hard to get it, and that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. That's all y'all really miss because I ain't been doing nothing but little stuff. But the little stuff I do, do I'm going to start recording for y'all and getting the content out for y'all. And, yeah. But it's a part of everything else I've been trying to be. A good mom, a good girlfriend, and a good daughter. I'm, I'm taking long pauses as I talk because I don't want to cry. And like... Me talking about it still gets me emotional. That's why I said what I said. I'm not quite over it yet. When I'm over, I'll be able to talk through without trying to cry. But I'm doing good because I would have been done cry by now. But I'm doing good. But yeah, it's emotional. So I don't want to really finish off the video. But yeah, we went through a lot. And my papa at the hospital, the nurses wasn't treating him right. He had got sores on his butt and a lot of other crazy stuff that just make you look at life differently like really and I just want to say if you have a, a papa or a grandpa Hold on tight. Tell me to love him. Her mom's gone forever. This is the end of the video. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. I want to thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I love all y'all. And I just wanted to give y'all a little update on what happened and why I'm not here. But I'm coming back. Send me DMs. Blow up my comments. Blow up my DMs or whatever y'all want me to do. Because like I said, I'm going to be back. And back for better. And I'm going to be double up uploading. So make sure y'all, um, you know, DM me. Let me know what y'all want to see. So I can do a video for y'all. Don't be knowing what to do. And I don't want to be sleeping boring. Or bored, so. Y'all just let me know what y'all, I should do.
Thank God for watching. Bye-bye.